Hey, Bola Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I struggled with this category video a little bit because it's bolos that you can find in the garage. And I'm a girl and I don't spend a lot of time in the garage. So I think I found some good ones. I said to my husband, I'm like, can you think of any? Can you think of any? And I was trying to like just do searches for, um, with keywords. So I think I did okay. As you can see up above, I've got quite a few for you. And this is great for estate sales, garage sales. You could probably pick some of these up at a thrift store. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely be on the lookout. Um, if you like the video, click the like button and definitely uh, comment below. I appreciate comments. It bumps me in the search and that, that helps me um, get more exposure to the channel. And also, um, the drawing will be when I hit 1500 subscribers and you get entries from liking and commenting. You have to do both. Um, the comment is what triggers me to, um, write your name down to be entered into the drawing. So we're getting close. I think we're like at 198 more before I can pick a name for the drawing. All right, um, we are going to get started on this garage category bolo video. And if you have a category video you would like um, a request, definitely comment below and I will see what I can do. And we are going to get started here. I'm going to dim this a little because I turned it up so you could see me. All right. Um, so the first one is this DeWalt um, impact wrench and this is used again this is probably more for men that know these type of things because I don't know brands and I don't know how to test it, these type of things like this might be something I'd bring home and say husband can you check this um, or if I'm like at an estate sale and he's at a different estate sale or he's at home, I would send him a, you know, picture and say, Hey, what do you think? But, uh, some of these tools, this one looks to be like in really nice, almost new condition. So that kind of makes sense. But this went for $216 and 90 cents. And not all of them are like new items. Most of the stuff is vintage as we keep going here. Um, here's another one. Uh, this is an impact wrench. Also, this one sold for $160 and 50 cents. Again, I walk past stuff like this all the time at estate sales and I need to, I need to be, um, branching out. I need to branch out a little. Okay. So this is an unusual, unique, adjustable wrench. Um, it says 1904. I don't know how they dated it, but anything that's really, really old like this is worth looking up. This sold for $41. Now, is that a huge bolo? No, but if you can get it for a couple bucks and turn it into 41, I say go for it. Everybody has um, different opinions on what is worth their time and what is not. To me, if I could get that cheap, $41 would be a good bolo. All right, so here's some more. Um, this is a lot, and these are just vintage um, tools. You can see they're, you know, they look old. But this sold for $76 with 35 bids plus shipping. All right, this thing is massive. I probably would not mess with it because I probably would not be able to carry it. I would not want to ship it. Yes, you need muscles to lift this thing. <laughs> anyway, it's an old um, blacksmith. I think it's pronounced anvil. I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, but this sold for $355 and 91 bits. Now, what is confusing to me is that it says shipping is $12.80. So I'm not sure how that's possible. So that's either like an eBay glitch or I don't think that would fit in a 
would that fit in a, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh my goodness, a flat rate um, box. I would think it would be too big, but maybe it does. I don't know. Anyway, kind of a weird one. What do you guys think? Comment below. There's a good reason to comment. Help me out. Okay, so this is a woodworking plane. Um, I don't know what these are used for. I would guess, and I have a guess, but if I'm wrong, I don't want everybody to make fun of me. Is it for shoes? Somebody tell me what this is for. I'm guessing it's probably not. Woodworking plane. It's probably for woodworking. Geesh. Not for shoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll just laugh at myself. Okay. The next one is uh, these wood carving tools. Wood carving tools are definitely a bolo. Um, leather tools are also a good bolo. But these sold for $83 with 50 bids. You can see what they look like here. Would they have sold for more if they were pieced out? I have no idea. I am. I would be the person that would do exactly what this seller did, and I would lot them up, and I would sell them in um, a lot. I actually went to a garage sale today, and I bought a bunch of baby dresses, and they're vintage, and um, there's a few that I might pull out because they're super cute. And the others I'll probably just sell as a lot. I don't know. My husband's like, well, why don't you just sell them individually and just price them, you know, cheap? And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. So right now they're sitting in a bag and I have to decide what I'm going to do with them. All right. This is a hatchet. Pretty cool. 40 bids. This sold for $142.50 plus shipping. Antique vintage cast iron wood pulleys. I'm guessing that maybe somebody has bought these for um, a decoration and um, because they're really, really cool. They're cool looking. And people have um, homes where they have like that rustic, you know, decor, rustic decor. So, yeah, I'm guessing that's what those are for. 170 hundred and seventy dollars 38 bids plus shipping okay this is snap-on okay so first off if you see anything snap-on and you can get it cheap definitely get it I would say that me being a female or a girl if I see snap-on I know it's gonna be a bolo hands down that's one that I know if I saw snap-on and it was cheap I would buy it this other stuff, leather tools I know about. Um, yeah, we'll keep going. But this thing, if it wasn't snap-on, I wouldn't look twice at it. And maybe it wouldn't sell for much if it wasn't snap-on. I have no idea. Um, but it sold for $101.37 bids plus shipping. All right, leak-proof. Uh, copper seal. I don't know what this is. Um, oh, it's a flashlight battery. How weird is that? Um, yeah, $106. And I want to show you guys something here. Um, I remember when I was looking, this was, um, I got to shrink this down here. Vintage flashlight battery. I just want to show you. Um, we're going to go to solds and we're going to go to auction. Highest first. I think I saw some more. These are. So here's one. And I guess it's just maybe the advertising because I'm sure they don't work. 167 50, 150, 106, 98. So. This is definitely a bolo I did not know about that I learned from this video that I think I'll remember. You know, sometimes I see things and I'm like, I'm not going to remember that. But I feel like this one I'll remember. That's a 9-volt battery. That's weird. 
$51. Does anybody else think this is a weird bolo? It's definitely a bolo. Look at this one. Huh? $28 for display only. That's smart. I would recommend that. Or just putting in your description that it does not work. So pretty cool. I like that one. All right, the next one is this vintage flash flashlight. And this one's Mickey Mouse. So we all know that Mickey Mouse graphics, anything vintage, you know, usually does okay. Um, pretty cool. Hmm. That's the flashlight, but it says to use Mickey Mouse batteries. Oh no. <laughs> use oh my gosh you guys for real what time is it it's only 11. okay so use only use a light is it you use a light or is it usa light <laughs> i have no idea but the usa light okay in the title they've got usa light batteries and then mickey mouse is the brand <laughs> i said use only use usa light mickey mouse batteries use only mickey mouse batteries okay anyway moving on if you can't laugh at yourself, then you can't do this. You can't be a, a YouTuber. I can't believe I'm a YouTuber. I didn't even like watch YouTube until like recently. I think I started the channel before I really started watching YouTube. Now I'm like, I want to see what other resellers are doing. So I have some channels that I really like to watch. Um, Flippin' Hippos is great. Uh, Katie and Vicky is great. Um, these are reseller channels. Um, let's see. Rockstar Flipper. Most of you guys probably watch him. He's huge. And that's how I actually got started doing this uh, YouTube thing, which is just crazy to me. Never thought I would do YouTube. Um, who else do I watch often? Somebody told me about the crazy lamp lady. She's pretty good. I've watched a few of her videos. Prime Track. Primetime Treasure Hunter is a new one that I'm watching a lot of. He has um, great tips and tricks. He has an awesome Facebook group. Definitely check out him. Um, I know I'm missing some. I know I'm missing some, and I'm sorry if I missed you um, because there are many others I'm watching. Um, Harry Tornado is good. He's newer, but, man, he is funny. He is a funny guy. If you guys want some humor in your reselling videos, it's kind of um, vlog style but very, very good. Um, I like watching him when I, I want to have a good laugh. So he's funny. Uh, all right. I'm going to keep going with the bolos here. If I think of some others, I will let you guys know, because I think as resellers, when we can find videos to watch that have good content, that's really important. All right. So this is a Coleman lantern lanterns. I should do a video on just lanterns because there are a lot that are bolos, but there are a lot that um, don't go for much also. So be careful with these. This one sold for $212.50, uh, 53 bids plus shipping. All right, so this is a uh, two-man saw, pretty cool. Uh, $174.39, uh, 28 bids plus shipping. Okay, storage units. If you guys are into storage units, um, her YouTube video is her name. It's Donatella Bodolino. And um, she's got some cool units, hoarders units, some crazy stuff. But she finds some major bolos in these units. It's pretty cool. And if you've got the patience and the time and the space, storage units are a great way to... Um, find things to sell on eBay. All right, this is a chainsaw, and apparently it is a very rare chainsaw because look at this price, $1,575. How on earth would you ship that? Look at the shipping, $142. This is like a man bolo, like something that a man is going to like pick up and figure out how to ship, and yeah. Fun, huh? All right, the next one is this motor oil and this one is a two gallon so this is a bigger one the little ones go for good money also i don't think they're motor oil but there's some type of oil that comes in a little can 
Anyway, 20250 for this one. 52 bids, free shipping. Uh, Sunny South Motor Oil, $376 for this one. Um, 36 bids, free shipping. Handy Oil, okay, so here's a little one. How cute is that? I don't know why, but somebody wants it, and it's sold for $45.88, 23 bids plus shipping. Here's another one, um, vintage oil can, sold for $73.77, 17 bids plus shipping. Again, these little oil cans are pretty easy to ship. They're small. Estate sales, estate sales, estate sales. All right, this cool vintage fan. And my husband has one of these, and he still uses it. And I am I'm terrified, like, that... Like, if you stick your finger in there, you could, ah, that's just scary stuff. Pretty cool. Sold for $227.50 with 27 bids plus shipping. Garage door openers. Um, I probably would have sold these separately just because I have sold quite a few garage door openers and they sell for decent money. Most of the ones I've sold have went for, you know, between 20 and $50, but you get them for like 50 cents at garage sales. People have no idea that vintage garage sale or vintage garage door openers are worth money. So this is a good one for the girls. Be on the lookout for garage door openers. $126.50. I'm almost betting that maybe somebody bought this to resell these. Don't know for sure but I have a hunch. All right, these are Iron Barn Garage Door Pulleys, horseshoe sliders, no clue, but they sold for $44.99. Again, this might be something that somebody's using for home decor. Um, I don't know, but three bids plus shipping. Okay. I've sold some of these. These are Genie. They're vintage Genie remotes for a garage door opener. These went for $44 plus shipping. Um, here's another motor oil. This one went for $194. $194.50 plus shipping. Uh, this is a screwdriver, a very old vintage screwdriver. And it sold for $102, guys. Pretty cool. And here's another one. It's a smaller, it's a screwdriver from Germany. And this one's not a huge bolo, but look at the condition. You know, the wood split. And it went for $35 with 19 bids plus shipping. So kind of cool. I wouldn't expect something like that to go for $35. Vintage rare, rare vintage seven locks. Again, this may be somebody that either collects or maybe they're buying to resell them. Uh, these have the keys, which it's hard to find them with keys. I have sold a few locks. Um, I sold one without keys and it did pretty good. It wasn't this cool. These are really cool. Um, but these sold for $144 with 61 bids. So let's just say somebody picked these up and they wanted to sell them for individually for $50 each. So that would be $175. So maybe not, maybe not somebody flipping them, but maybe they could sell them for more. I don't really know. That's another one I could probably do a whole category video on is vintage locks. Here's some more 13 small vintage locks. Okay. Again, they're, I don't think these have the keys and they sold for 175.50 with 45 bids plus shipping. Does anybody know, can you get keys made for these locks or are you just kind of out of luck? Anybody know? All right, this one's cool. It's a padlock combination code lock. 
sold for $161.38 plus shipping with 23 bids. Okay, so this is just a snap-on toolbox. It didn't go crazy high, but it sold for $61 plus shipping with 31 bids. This is just a snap-on logo nameplate. So it's just a nameplate. Again, snap-on. I actually bought a couple um, snap-on ornaments and they're vintage. I haven't listed them yet. They're just sitting in my basement. Um, to list, I have a very, very big pile of stuff that I bought from one garage sale. I got so much stuff. But anyway, two of these ornaments are snap-on, so I'm kind of excited to see what they'll go for. But this sold for $67 with 27 bids plus shipping. All right, this is a creeper, a craftsman creeper. And it didn't go for a crazy price, but I thought it was kind of cool and worth a mention. It sold for $41 plus shipping with 16 bids. Okay, this vintage hammer, how cool is this? $71, 19 bids plus shipping. This is a old um, Chevrolet parts and accessories catalog book. And it went for $60 with 24 bids plus shipping. And this is a Swiss Army knife. You can find that in the garage, right? And it sold for $40.01, five bids plus shipping. And this is a Road Atlas from 1934. Again, not a huge bolo, but something you might find in an estate sale. Sold for $35.20 with 19 bids plus shipping. So, um, ladies especially, search comps because I know if you're anything like me, you probably don't know a lot about tools and you're going to see this video and you're going to get all excited when you see these things. But please, please, please search comps, especially if you're going to shell out some money for something. Definitely check comps before you buy it. If it's cheap, I always say take it and take a chance. I mean, if you can get something for 50 cents or a dollar, you're more than likely going to be able to make some money. Um, but yeah, definitely search comps because for each bolo, like let's say that hammer I showed you, there's probably 50 that only sold for like 10 bucks. You know what I mean? So style and brand and all of those things condition make a difference on the selling price. And sometimes sellers just get lucky and two people want their item and there's a bidding war and the price gets inflated because two people really want the item. Doesn't mean that it's going to be a bolo every time. So this is what I came up with and I think it's pretty cool. Um, garage door openers are my favorite. That's my number one that I look for at, at um, garage sales especially. So if you like this video, like and comment. And if you made it to the end of the video, to this point in the video, comment below that I made it to the end of the video. I always like to see who makes it to the end. And um, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you find some bolos. Have an awesome evening and be sure to subscribe if you haven't.